Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. Uh, in this video we will be taking a look at forms. So form is one of the views that you can use when uh, using Swift UI. And in this video we will be taking a look at forms and the sections within, within forms and then how we can use forms in order to, for example, create a submission form where our user can input some information and then submit that. So that's what we're up to in this video. So if that is something you want to learn how to do, then keep on watching and we will be taking a look at it right now. So the first part to creating our form is, as always, to create a new Xcode project, which is always the most exciting part of a project, the enthusiasm and everything before all of the errors. Anyway, the product name, let's just call it form. Um, set interface to Swift UI, language Swift, and all that good stuff, and then save it where you want to. Oh, I already have it. Uh, I guess I'm going to replace it then. Now, if you think about it, a form is a way for a user to submit some information, or at least that's going to be the use case in this tutorial. So the first thing we will have to think about is what type of information do we want from the user? and uh, where do we want to store it? Well, I want to store it in some variables. So now I will have to think about what type of information do I want to store? So what type of variables do I need? So the first one that I'm going to create is a state uh, variable. And I'm going to call it first name and set it equal to an empty string. And I'm going to copy paste this uh, because I also want to request the last name. And then I'm going to create another variable that I'm going to call is subscribed. And I'm going to set that to false. If we imagine that we have some kind of subscription service where we will, where we will register the name of the user, uh, the subscription of the user. And then we can also have another one that I'm going to call city. And I'm going to set that to zero for now. Then also create a constant uh, then I'm going to call cities, which is going to be an array that I fill with some cities. So what are we going to come up with? Uh, let's say New York, York, and Rome, and Paris, and London. Like that. So now that we know what type of information that we want and where we want to store it, we can start to create our form. So I'm just going to remove all of this and I can also remove the padding and I'm going to, instead of having a VStack, I'm going to use a navigation controller, which is going to give us the, I mean, navigation view. And in this navigation view, I'm going to create a form and a form consists of multiple sections. So we have one form and then in this form, we have a multitude of sections depending on how many we need and each section we can give a header. So let's do that, header and content. The first one I'm going to call personal info and the content is going to be two text fields. Text field and the placeholder for that text field is going to be first name and then where we will store the text which is going to be in our variable called first name. And the error is that we need to define it as a text view, not just pass it a string like that. And now everything should work fine. So here we have it. We have our form and we have the first section in our form, which consists of one text field where we can input some information. For example, Peter. Now what we're doing here, uh, we're actually creating a binding to our first variable named first name. So whenever we type something in this text field, it's going to be updated to our first name and vice versa. Uh, if there is a change to our first name variable, that's going to reflect in our text field right here. So the second or the moment uh, the user enters something, it is stored in the first name variable. So I will copy and paste this one more time and just change it to last name and also here change it to last name. So here we have our first section completed where our user can input some personal information which consists of the first name and the last name. 
Now I'm just going to copy and paste the section one more time. So the second section is going to be focused on the subscription. So let's call it subscription. And the subscription uh, variable is a Boolean. So what we can do here is instead of having text fields, we can just use a toggle that switches between true or false. So let's create a toggle here. And the text for that is going to be subscribe to service and its current state is on is equal to the value of is subscribed so again here we have a binding to our is subscribed variable so whatever we do here is reflected in our variable and vice versa so now we have two nice looking sections for our form and before we continue what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to add a navigation header Navigation title is what it's called. I'm going to call this um, information form. And to make it a bit more professional, I'm going to add a smiley like that. Just what we need. So now we can continue with our third section, which is uh, perhaps our second to last section. And the header for that is going to be another text field. Select city. And for this section, I want to display all of the cities in a nice and neat way so that the user can easily select the city that applies. And there are a few options and a few ways to do that. But what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a picker view, which I'm going to call a city and then give it a selection. So title is going to be city and the selection is going to be the selected city which we simply call city so let's create a binding to our city variable and the content is going to be our array of cities so we just need to loop through that for each of the items in our city array cities dot indices and we're going to give each one an id backslash dot self and then i in and as we loop through we want to create a text field for all of them or a text view for all of them and the text in the text view is going to be self dot cities at i so this way we are looping through all of the cities in our array and displaying it in a text field so if you now head over to our preview, this is what we currently have. We have a nice picker where we can choose between all of the cities and the selection is updated to our selected city. Now what we can do is if you want it a bit more fancy or you would just want to change around and try out the different options, you can actually change that picker style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a different picker style uh, because I want one that's called segmented like that and that way it turns into this instead so as you can see this is can be useful if there aren't too many options but if you have 100 cities then it's probably best to go with the other option but I'm going to leave it at that for now and that actually more or less concludes our form the only thing that we need is our submit button in order to submit the form so let's create a last section here with a header that I'm going to call uh, submit and it's going to contain only one thing which is a button and I'm going to call that submit also and it's going to perform an action and that action is going to be to print out the information that we have. So what we can do is we can print out our first name and and we can also add another piece of information, write it correctly, backslash. Um, we can check if he is subscribed. Like that. So of course here we will just perform any action that you want to perform when the user submits the form. So let's check out our form. I'm going to write in some information. Peter Peterson he is of course subscribed to our great service and then i live in rome click submit and here we have some information what we did was we printed out the first name which was peter and then we printed out a subscribed 
which was set to true. We can also set it to false and when we submit then it will display false. So that is how you create a simple form that you can for example use to collect user information. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on forms. If you did make sure to click the like and the subscribe and then I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching and take care.